Earlier today, Xiaomi released something called the Xiaomi Modular Optical System. Very short video, one minute. Let's take a look and discuss because I do believe that this has potential and this might change mobile photography for good. All right, let's see. Pushing the boundaries of optical engineering. It starts with a Xiaomi 15, right? It's a regular Xiaomi 15, guys, but now see what happens. Xiaomi is relentlessly exploring innovative ways to perfect mobile photography. All right, now I think you already know what happens. Let me just continue. Starting with an all new concept. So they're just taking what looks to be like a proper lens and boom, somehow like magically mounted to the phone, which is something that Xiaomi did in the past with one of their concept phones. Uh, I think you can see the video um, on Aaron's channel, Mr. Who's the Boss, but this really is the next level compared to this other concept that had the sense exposed and you were mounting the lens directly on the sensor. Here, you just mount it on the back of the phone. Let's keep looking. Xiaomi Mobile Optical System the pinnacle of imagery in your hands. Presented by Xiaomi Optics. This is a regular double gauss lens. By breaking traditional design paradigms through modern optical advancements, right. light paths are reshaped and perfectly tuned to the sensor, achieving strikingly sharp images despite a strikingly compact form factor. The brand new Light Fusion X sensor delivers true 100 megapixels. So guys, I want to stop the video for a moment because apparently the sensor is one part of the equation. The other thing is, of course, the lens. And this is very similar to what we have right now in the, all the smartphones. So we have a camera sensor and on top of it, we have stacked several lenses of periscopes and whatnot. And the biggest sensors right now, even in the Xiaomi 15 Ultra, is the one in sensor, is the Sony LIT900. This sensor here, guys, has the size of four by three. This is 100 megapixel and it's twice as big as the one in sensor, guys. So it's four by three. It's really crazy what they're showing. So clarity, the pinnacle of optical innovation seamlessly integrated with your smartphone. And now, See how the integration you happens, guys. Of raw data transfer wirelessly to the AISP within nanoseconds via Xiaomi Laser Link communication. All right, so they have developed something called the Xiaomi Laser Link that actually uses these two pins on the back of the lens. That is not actually just any lens, right? It is a specific lens with a lot of, I guess, hardware and software. And then, boom, you snap it up on the back of your phone. Powered by on device large models with magnets and it touches safely. With regular cameras. Unlocking ultra raw with an incredible 16 stops of dynamic range. And the photos are just breathtaking, guys. Like, this is, of course, something you can expect with using a very big sensor and a proper lens, like to just get as close as a real camera, right? Let's keep looking. No pairing, charging, or transferring. Also, we don't have to charge this additional lens. We just have to carry it and then, boom, snap it out back on the phone. Required. The highest quality photos are instantly shareable. Gently remove the lens and you get a perfect... If you don't want to use it, phone. boom. You can always just put it back in your pocket and, and continue using your phone with a regular camera, by the way. Now, guys, I do believe this thing here really is a very interesting concept. You can also go and check Ben's gadget review video because he is testing it, Mr. Who's the Boss, as well. Ben got to talk to the Xiaomi engineers and they said like two cons for now. So first thing is like this is right now expensive to just bring it to the mass market. And the second point that I only saw in Ben's video is Xiaomi told Ben that they have to cut open the phone for the laser link to operate and to connect via these two pins, but then also compromising the IP68, so uh, like the protection of the phone. They want to somehow fix this before, you know, taking a step further and developing this concept as a mass technology, because right now, A, they say it's expensive, and B, we cannot get a phone with that thing and with IP68. But honestly, I'm really excited. So let me know what you think down below in the comments, guys. If they make this through from the concept to a mass market um, it's probably still going to be a very niche product because i don't really see a lot of people paying top dollar maybe just people that are really photographers but uh, with this thing you can really get as close as having a real camera experience because again with all the ai and with all the nice big sensors we're still limited by you know like the tiny lenses and the optics and having a proper lens 
can really change the game for a good life. Go and watch Ben's video. You can also watch Arun's Mr. Who's the Boss video. Let me know what you think down below in the comments. Stay safe, VST over, and bye.